Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes. Oh, so sorry guys, but it looks like your time's up. Better hop to it and get those secondary doors open! Fuck that! We aren't gonna open shit! You can take your lamery game and shove it up your ass. If you think we're just gonna swallow your psychotic crap and play along, you've got another thing coming, you smart-ass little rodent. I'm a rabbit. Shut up! Well, shoot. I thought you might say that. Unfortunately, you have no choice but to follow the rules. Oh. Why is that? When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. If anyone is left outside after they close, they'll... They'll what? They'll be penalized. You keep saying that. What the hell is this penalty anyway? Well... Bracelets contain two drugs. The first is an anesthetic called Soparil Beta. The other is a muscle relaxant called Tubocurarine. Your bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. If you break the rules, those needles hop out and inject you. First is the Soparil, which puts you to sleep. Nine minutes later, the Tubocurarine is injected numbing your respiratory muscles. I guess you could say it'll really take your breath away. You should know that the sober will is only the about the kindness of Zero's heart. Oh, and, and I mean the real Zero. Mm -hmm. Not me. Zero just doesn't want to see anybody suffer. Isn't that just so compassionate? <laughs> if I had a heart, it'd be melting right now. Anyway. All it means is that you'll die pretty painlessly, so hey, there's nothing to worry about, really. Of course, none of that will happen if you just follow the rules. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Well then, looks like it's time for me to hop on out of here. Good luck, guys! See you all later! Have a nice trap! What are we waiting for? We need to go. We need to get through these other doors. But how do we figure out which door to go through? You still don't get it? <sighs> Fine. Just pay attention. We don't have Zero's explanation was pretty There are only option A. Sigma and I pair up with Luna. Our red that would mean Clover and K. That just leaves Dio and Quark as the blue pair. And Ten Miogia. Got it? Option B. Sigma and I go with Tenmyoji, so we can use red and green. That means Clover and K, this leaves... And finally, option C would be where we pair up with... That means Sigma, Alice, and I go through the Cyan door. Clover, K, and Tenmyoji go through the Magenta door. And Dio, Quark, and Luna go through the Yellow door. Problem is, which do we choose? Please, Sigma, choose something. <laughs> If you don't want to, then maybe Alice or Clover can pretend me OG or once one person chooses. But please, you have- We're almost out of time! One minute remains. <laughs> Sure. All right. Then Clover and I will go with Alice. As long as I get to go with Alice, I'm fine. I don't have any objections. We'll be going through the yellow door, right? That means Dio, Quark, and I are doing the cyan door. Ugh, suddenly I can't see how this could possibly go badly. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and you'll pull your head out of your ass. What did you just say? Ten, second, nine, eight, seven. We need to hurry! 
3, 2, 1, 0, Chromatic. Didn't you see the door? It said this is the lounge. Well, there doesn't seem to be much dust. Maybe there is. Beats me. Looks like there are four doors in here. Yeah. The one we came in, the one opposite it. The two on the sides are covered with metal plates, though. I didn't see any other doors in the hallway we came through. Maybe we can find one of the keys to the AB room in here somewhere.
Someone's coming. And Dio, Quark, and Tenmyoji! <sighs> we ran into them a little bit ago. Well, not literally, of course. I don't know. With a prowl like that, I imagine you run into a lot of things. Let me see the map. Just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them too. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue. And the one on are these chromatic doors? Look, there's a box here. <laughs> yeah, just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? Oh, no, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. You telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? Hmm. Well, I gotta head back. Quark, why don't you show them that note we found? Sure. Oh? Did it say something like, supplementary rules? Because if it did, we have one too. We found ours in the infirmary. <laughs> I don't think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? The Ambidex room key? We found some. <laughs> Let's head back to the warehouse. Uh, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? If you don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mutt watching the door sounds about right. <laughs> Asshole. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. 
Well, what are you going to go back with us, or are you staying here by yourself? All right, I'm going. Seem Zero's notes were telling the truth. Getting back here was easy enough. That means we could all go visit the infirmary too. Or oh, the crew quarters. Hey, Grandpa, check this out. It's some of your favorite scotch. Oh. <sighs> Let's go, buddy. As soon as we get out of here, I can drink all the scotch I want. You can drink all the root beer floats you can stomach. What? You're gonna get me a root beer float? But, are, are you sure? Do you have enough money? Oh, ye of little faith. I found an old factory full of rare earth metals the other day. into what room? Uh, that doesn't really matter. Anybody can go into any room. But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. Then you mean both? Yeah. What do we do after we go into the room? Play a game. Just like it says on the door. You play the Ambidex game! Wait, what's Ambidex supposed to mean anyway? I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands, instead of favoring the left or right. But it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. <laughs> well, yes, I guess you could put it that way. And what's the notary game? Oh, that refers to the full enchilada. The notary game is it the ambidex game. Makes sense? Like hell. Is it or what do you think? <laughs> well, that's just how I am, so you better get used to it. Yeah. I'll give you most I think of. Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. An ambidex 45 minutes remain. Fuck if I know. Look, it doesn't matter who she is, just get everybody over here! <laughs> What the 
were you yelling at? What's going on here? Is she? Uh, okay. C come on, Quark. Then... she's... Murdered? Hmm. Looks like she was stabbed. Don't see a weapon around here, though. That means either the killer took it with them, or it was part of them. Part of them? Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, then they might be able to stab someone in the heart. What are you suggesting? It's just a joke. Don't take it so seriously. Whatever. If we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Let's get her to the infirmary. She might be old. But she's still a woman. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Come on, boys, let's go. Maybe she didn't suffer much when she died. Anyway, I feel a little bad about doing this, but I think we need to examine her. You mean like an autopsy or something? I'm just going to have a look at the wound. If we had a coroner, then it would be a different story, but... Um... What? I have a medical license. You're a nurse? No. Well, I'm not exactly a coroner. Interesting. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Sorry. You don't need to apologize. Are you really going to perform an autopsy? Oh, um, I won't really be doing it. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Oh, yeah? And just how the hell do you remember that? Because Alice, Clover, and I examined this entire room. Yes, I think I should be able to manage that. In other words, she was stabbed in the heart. Yes. Well, I suppose that clears me of suspicion. Sorry, but no. Why? Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. I told you that was a joke. Then why am I still a suspect? We found the old lady in one of the AB rooms, specifically the one farthest to the left. Before we went in there, only two other people had been in that room. You and Clover. Only one of you was conscious. Fi, please, stop joking around. I assure you, there was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. She must have been put there later. But the door was locked, right? I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Perhaps, but there was a hatch on the ceiling, remember? Yes, there was. But Zero said he'd locked all the hatches. You fucking bastard! Why'd you kill her, Kay? I knew it. You're him, aren't you? You're the real Zero. Wait a minute, please. Just calm down. You aren't making sense. Let's suppose I am Zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? Uh, well, because... Because you figured we'd think that. And you'd throw us off the trail by doing the exact opposite. That's not a logical argument. Still... You do have at least half a point. Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt, but it does show us where we should be looking. The real Zero. The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. 
Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this... Exactly. Also, consider this. If the murderer isn't Zero, why would the AI Zero stay silent? He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly, but now the unexpected has happened, and he says nothing. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. So why has he kept his silence? The murderer is Zero, or rather Zero Senior. He likely ordered Zero Junior, the AI, to keep his identity hidden. If Zero Junior told us about the murder, then Zero Senior's identity would be compromised. There is something else to consider as well. Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Zero Senior murdered her, just as planned. Well, there's no way to know for sure, but I would assume so. Ten minutes remain. All play if no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed. Any non-voting parties will automatically ally. I don't know. Well, one thing's for sure. If we don't go vote, something bad's going to happen. You see? Zero Junior ensures the game continues. All of this is part of Zero Senior's plan. Let's get back to the warehouse. If we all head to the A-B rooms, maybe we'll see Zero Junior. After all, he told us he'd... Up here. Seriously? I was expecting something about how I jump at the first sign of trouble. Yeah, well, there was something I wanted to check out. This thing. Remember it? Try opening it. Hmm. Then that means this AB room is locked down tight. Yeah. I know. I just wanted to be sure. Five minutes remain. Let's go. I imagine Algernon's waiting for us. Look, there's something on the screen. <laughs> Astute observation. For example, slap me! And it 
like Mooney's opponent. Obviously, that means Potassium and Cleaver's enemy will be Alas. And B.O. and Quirk's enemy will be Tenmi Oldie. Well, I guess enemy, after all. If you choose ally, then they're your ally. What? Don't get it? Well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. First, I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A. All you guys have to do is pick. Your BP will go up or down, depending on what you pick. It's a little complicated, and some of you are a little slow. The plus and minus are from your point of view. You choose ally. And you get two BP. We call just put us next is what you get if that happens. We call that the somebody did that to me. Let's get them and stew them with some titers. The third choice is the opposite of that. It's when you choose betray. This time, you're we call that. I mean, what were they thinking? Choosing ally was a stupid choice. And finally, the very this is when you choose betray. And so does your opponent. If that happens, neither of you gets or loses anything. Absolutely zero change in BP. Ugh. Boring. We call this the why even bother outcome. As the game master here, this is the situation I want to avoid the most. You're probably wondering about the pairs, aren't you? No. Let me explain. Remember how I told you the two of you get to? It doesn't mean. You both get three points. In other words... Ooh, I think that... <laughs> Ew, this out after all. <laughs> no, I won't wait. Didn't you hear me? One minute remains. You see? See you later. Have a nice trouble. We don't have time to talk about this. Choose Betray. <laughs> we don't know if she'll ally or not. If we choose ally and that's a loss of you tell me, Sigma. Exactly. If our BP gets down to one, it's over. So 30 seconds. Just press the damn button. Fine. If you won't do it, then I Ten seconds remain. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. When your BP hits zero, you die. That's what I meant. One. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed.